for this question it says that the train start from rest at station A and accelerates at 0 0.5 meter per second per second for 60 seconds so this is the first step and then um, it travels with a constant velocity for 15 minutes so we need to convert this 15 minutes into 15 seconds and then decelerates at what 1 meter per second per second until it is brought to rest at station B determine the distance between the stations so we need to solve this step by step so uh, what are the information that we have for step 1 for step 1 we have uh, the initial velocity equals to 0 and then uh, the initial position equals to 0 and then we have uh, the time taken for the first operation is 60 seconds and then the constant velocity velocity AC equals to 0 0.5 meter per second per second so when we try to solve for this we use the distance equation uh, S equals to S naught uh, plus V naught T plus 1 over 2 ACT and then we just plug in all those value so uh, S1 equals to this is going to be 0 and then this is going to be 0 as well 0 0 and then uh, 1 over 2 this is going to be 0 0.5 times 60 seconds so once you solve this you are going to get uh, the first distance is going to be 900 meters and how about the uh, velocity at the first stage so this is going to be uh, v1 okay so this is going to be v equals to v naught plus act if we plug in all those values that we have, we're going to have uh, the first velocity equals to 0 plus uh, 0 0.5 okay, and the time is 60 seconds and then we are going to get uh, the first velocity equals this, the first velocity okay, equals to 30 meter per second so this is step 1 and then we go for step 2 Okay, uh, what are the information that we have for step 2? V0 equals to uh, 30 meter per second. And then we have uh, the distance equals to 900 meters. And then we have uh, the acceleration. Okay, acceleration is equals to 0 because it says that it travels with constant velocity for 15 minutes so 15 minutes is going to be 15 times 60 seconds all right so once we have this we can calculate uh, straight we calculate the distance which is s so s equals to s naught uh, plus v naught t plus 1 over 2 a c t so when we plug in all those value the second position that we have here is so we are using this 900 okay right 900 900 plus 30 times a uh, time again okay. so this is going to be 900 seconds all right uh, 900 okay plus 1 over 2 uh, times 0 okay so this is basically 900 as well okay so once you finish this you are going to get 27,900 meters so this is for step 2 now uh, for step 3 the information that we have is Okay, what will be the first velocity? This is going to be uh, 30 meter per second. Okay, and then uh, we are going to get V. Okay, because it stops, so this is going to be zero. 
um, and then uh, we are going to get the first position will be 27,900 meters and then the acceleration the constant acceleration it says that the train is decelerate until it stops so minus one meter per second squared so finally since we have the clue on the final velocity so we can use the velocity equation v equals to v naught plus act so we have the final velocity equals to zero and then the current velocity is equals to 30 meter per second plus uh, ac okay so this is going to be minus one and then t is something that uh, we don't know okay t so we can obtain t so t in this case we're going to be 30 seconds and then uh, finally we can calculate the distance okay so this is going to be the final distance s equals to s naught plus v naught t plus 1 over 2 a c t squared so when we plug in all those values that we have here so we have um, 27,900 meters plus v naught v naught is 30 so this is going to be 30 times uh, 30 seconds okay 30 seconds uh, plus 1 over 2 minus 1 t is going to be 30 seconds square finally the, the distance that the train has traveled is 28,350 meters or equivalent to 28.35 kilometers.